First thing that I would like to bring up is what's called the DMPC, which is when an NPC is used or created and used by a dungeon master or game master. And they basically use it as a character of their own, where they can tend to put that character first before the actual players. And it's kind of a way for dungeon masters or game masters to be a player as well. But it just doesn't it doesn't work. It just doesn't work out. I find it causes difficulties. I find that it takes away the spotlight, you know, the the camera lens from the actual adventurers. And it's really kind of like stroking your own ego a bit because you've made the story and now you're making a character to play, but you also know how the story goes or what's going to come next. So it's just kind of, I don't know, I just think it's foolish, really. Uh, I've tried to do it before. It doesn't work. No. How about you guys? You have any you have any thoughts? If you're going to make a, a DM PC and you're making them based around the world that you're in, it's like, you might as well just write a book. Might as well just be like, this is the story of my character who I made for my world. That is all about my character. Look at how cool my character is. It's like, all right, so you're going to make a character that you're going to put into a game and basically you're going to sort of play favorites with this character and make the story about them instead of the players, then write a book about the character that takes place in the world rather than, you know, have your player characters just be like background fodder for your DM PCs. Yeah, and, and I, That's I basically what you're doing. That, I kind of think that it stems from, I think it stems from the forever DM. You know, I think it's like mm. people that are behind the screen that, probably would rather be playing or misplaying. And sometimes that happens, Absolutely. I think, out of necessity where, where somebody ends up being the DM more often than not. Um, sometimes it's because people actually enjoy what you do and they want you to be the storyteller. They want you to run the game because you know what you're doing or they enjoy themselves when you're doing it. But really, I just don't think that it works. I, I, I just think that it just causes problems eventually, you know? It can. Right. It can if they're not really paying attention to it and they're kind of doing those things that you said. Sometimes a DM might make a character and then they just kind of totally forget about it, which I'm super guilty of. Back when we would play uh, Star Wars campaigns, I would have that one Jedi character that would hang out with you guys and he would never do anything. <laughs> and then randomly he might pop up for two seconds in the middle of a story and then kind of run off again. And you guys were like, whatever. <laughs> Nobody ever paid any attention. I rarely used the guy because I had to deal with four crazy players. I think the best thing you can do really is to kind of be somewhat in the middle where <clears throat> they're not as important really as you were. And when I say not as important, like the focus of the story, the focus of the metaphorical camera eye should not be on the NPCs all the time. Like it, it's about the it's about the players interacting with your world. That's what makes the game. For you to kind of interfere with it, um, it, it's just kind of like shooting yourself in the foot. So I think it's nice to have like a good balance where, sure, you can have NPCs that have some importance, um, but I don't think that they should really, you know, they shouldn't just take over the story. So like one of the things I do is either the NPC that I'm introducing is either a tier above my player characters where he's stronger or he or she is stronger and more powerful. They're in a, a better position than the players. Like an arch wizard, you know, would be like a perfect, you know, like a 20th level wizard uh, meeting a level 10 party. The level 10 party should know this guy is probably not to be trifled with. And then I also like, if I'm going to have like an NPC tag along with the party, I usually have them a level or two lower than, than my party. Minimum, um, minimum, absolutely. To keep it so that they are not, you know, if you if you would go ahead and you plan like this cool monster encounter, and then you end up getting like the killing blow with your NPC because you made like a crazy strong NPC that you just threw into the encounter or you threw in with the party, you know, like I said before, it's kind of like shooting yourself in the foot, you know. Yeah, nobody wants. Yeah. That. Yeah, so it it I think it depends on your party dynamic. Like I agree, a DM should never be playing a character the same way that they would play a character if they were not the DM. Because it's not it's not what your job is there for. 
uh, as as the DM or the GM, you know, you're creating this world, you're creating this atmosphere to allow these people who are your players to interact with it, not your own character. Thank you.